In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your copilot to Microsoft Teams. Now, why would you like to publish your copilot to Teams? Because if you are thinking of having a chatbot for uh, your organization and then you want the chatbot to be specifically focused on some specific area like say HR policies or maybe uh, a chatbot serving IT requests. So you can do that. You can build a copilot uh, in Copilot Studio and then you can start serving those copilot in Microsoft Teams. Now for publishing to Teams you can uh, uh, it, it's kind of you're publishing it to a channel. So Microsoft Teams is one of the channel when you publish your copilot. Now published copilot can be shown to teammates and shared users. User can go into the uh, the tab bar and then they can add the copilot. So that option is available if you select uh, while configuring the you know, the Teams publishing, uh, you can download the Copilot as a zip file and also sideload into Teams. So, provided in your Teams admin center, you have enabled the option of sideloading and. Uh, application uh, copilot uh, will act as an application and then you can download the copilot as a zip file and then you can side load into microsoft teams now copilot can be added into teams it can be added into a chat it can be added into a meeting now as you see over here what i have done is like i've gone into channels i've selected microsoft teams and then i've started adding uh, the channel uh, microsoft teams for my copilot now once the uh, configuration is done here you will get an option of uh, editing the details of the copilot opening the copilot connection disconnection from teams and you can select availability option in teams you will be presented with this screen to add your copilot and once you click on add this copilot will get added now the branding of copilot is not yet propagated into teams so you will still see power virtual agents term over here now, uh, multiple areas to add Copilot. You can add this to a team. You can add it to a chat. You can add it to a meeting, right? So this this screen belongs to uh, Microsoft Teams. So once you are in Teams and once you navigate to the URL, uh, then you will be presented with the screen. Now, this is how the Copilot will look in Teams. Now, some of the user interface will not match what you have built in Copilot. So uh, Microsoft Teams will try to uh, mimic the behavior however uh, it won't be an exact one is to one replica now as you see over here i have uh, exported or basically i have uh, connected or published into a teams channel uh, girish expense claim assistance uh, chatbot right which is a copilot now one, before you start uh, the publishing activity, you can do a couple of things. You can change the icon, you can change the color, you can put a short description, long description, and you can uh, put some developer information once you uh, are ready with all this information uh, when you want to publish this uh, copilot to uh, channel teams. Now, what can be edited? Bot details, bot icon, bot color, short description, long description, uh, developer information. Uh, you can if say if you are like a uh, service provider who uh, provides those uh, co-pilots or bot application to your various uh, customers or suppliers or partners, then you can uh, put your own information as well. So there is an option to put your partner ID. Uh, and you can also configure Teams channel single sign-on. Now let's jump into the demo. Let me show you how do you publish into uh, publish your bot, right? So let me pick up one of the uh, bot, okay, which I have created. So let me select. Uh, so take for example, I have this CP06 Girish Solutions Hardware. So this is the bot which I have created a uh, couple of days back and what i'm gonna do i'll be publishing this bot to the teams okay now let me close other windows and let me open microsoft teams just to show you once a copilot is published how it behaves okay so you need to navigate to teams.microsoft.com and if it's a new team then it's slash v2 is a url and once you are in the teams here you will see that i have one bot uh Girish expense claim assistance, right? This is one of the bot which I have published. Okay. And then there is an, another bot which is CP02 Pickleball Venue Management. Okay. Now, if I go into one of the bot, I can chat with this bot. Okay. I can just type hello and then the bot will uh, respond to me. Okay. 
as you see the bot has responded to me and then i can just say expense claim where to bill okay so if i put some instruction then the bot will understand and then it will give me a response accordingly right now this bot girish expense claim assistance bot is over here right this one and cp0 to pickleball venue management this is the bot which i have published in teams which you see over here right now this is the publishing of the bot will take a while and that's why i will not be able to show you demo one is to one that's why i'm showing you the already published bot but the process is uh what you need to do you know select a co-pilot which you need to publish to teams and now if you go into channels okay you select microsoft teams now why other channels are disabled currently because of the authentication settings now in the authentication settings if you go to security then if you go into authentication and if i select no authentication that means it is publicly available in any channel then all other channels will get enabled but in my case i'll just put microsoft enter id authentication in teams and power apps right so let me close this and then what i'm gonna do i'll go to channels and then i'll click on microsoft teams now this is a publishing process right i've selected a channel now if you read the instructions clearly what it says is that nothing can stop a team and now your co-pilot can help you achieve more together to open the lines of comps select turn on teams after a quick installation your users and co-pilot can start chatting note that certain co-pilot content may not appear the same so this is also an important instruction to keep in mind that whatever you built using your co-pilot will not appear as it is in microsoft teams as both are different application and both as different ui and other components so uh, make sure that uh, this is just like a kind of a warning for you to understand because if you're very picky on the ui uh, you may uh, uh, find a lot of surprises right so what we need to do we need to turn on the teams right so let's turn on the teams now i'm turning on the teams it is telling me that it is adding a channel so that means this is one of the channel which is microsoft teams and i'm going to publish my bot into microsoft teams now as you see over here it says you need to publish your copilot before you can make it to available to others so we haven't published the copilot and that's why it is telling me that you cannot uh, publish this to this bot uh, publish to this uh, teams so for that i will click on the publish button and i'll click on publish okay so once this copilot is published then i should be able to successfully publish this bot to a channel uh, and which is microsoft teams so let's wait for some time to get this entire publishing process done okay so I think it's done. Your copilot was published, so I'm good with it. I'll click on Microsoft Teams. And then here you will see that your uh, copilot is now published. Now, uh, remember that this is not a seamless process because this will give you some sort of an error. Uh, if you're lucky, there won't be any error, but then I have encountered a lot of errors while publishing this. It is not a straightforward process. It takes some time to get it refreshed. So uh, uh, be patient on that. Now, what are the things we can do is we can edit the details of this co-pilot, okay? Now this co-pilot, as you see over here, this icon is different, right? Now, what it has done is like, if you click on edit details, I can change the color. I can change the color of this icon. So let me make it green. And even I can change the icon, okay? So I can change the icon, I can put whatever icon I want, but I'm not going to change that. And I can put a short description. Now, short description is when you uh, publish this to the teams, when you add the co-pilot into the teams, this will be displayed, okay? So let me call this as Girish uh, co-pilot, which helps in defining hardware. For your office so something like that and then you can change the long description as well okay uh, now here we have an option to select which says teams multi-user collaborative scope 
configure the scope that the scope pilot can be added to and access chat history so i can allow your users to add the scope pilot to a team i can say yes and then i can say enable for teams group and meeting chat as well so any individual like say a uh, user within your organization they can directly add this to a group or to a meeting chat now if you do not want this to happen you can just uh, take that off right and you can manage copilot detail from here which will take you to the settings page i'll click on save so what we have done we have uh, published a copilot to a teams channel right we can disconnect from here as well right and if you see this button over here availability options you can copy the link you can show in teams app store and you can download a zip file okay so let's do one thing let me uh, download this as a zip file okay so i can download this as a zip file and i can upload the copilot directly into microsoft teams okay now this is also one of the options so it it has given me teams app.zip right now what it says go to the team store select upload a custom app and follow the prompt now in the teams if I, if you have a proper rights what you can do you can go into the apps okay now this is your teams app store now here you will uh, start looking for the the additional bots or chat bots or any other application which you have uh, here uh, and what you can do is you can click on get more apps okay now this will take you to the same screen whereby you can select whatever app you want and you can click on add right like say you can go into various productivity apps and you can click on app addition of app to your uh, uh teams channel now i'll click on manage your apps this hyperlink and then i will click on upload an app because i have a zip file and i do not have that app readily available so i'll click on upload an app i'll click on upload a customized app and I'll click on teams app dot zip now once this is done it will give you then information now remember we have changed this icon to green we have added this text right and that's why it is showing me everywhere all those things and even it is written as created by your developer name now you can change the developer name as well right now how you can change is like if you go into your copilot let, let me go into the uh, microsoft teams channel like if i go into the specific channel if i click on uh, edit details okay and if you see a uh, manage copilot details now instead of going to manage copilot details if you click on more then here you will see developer information so here you can put your name as well right i'll put whatever my name website privacy statement terms of use and then i can put other information as mpn id uh, azure ad application client id etc right so i'm not going to make that change but i'm just showing you that there are options which are available so what i'm going to do i'll click on add now this bot or this copilot is going to be added into microsoft teams now if you're lucky you will not get any error but as you see over here i got an error right now it might take some time for this uh, application to be uploaded uh, so uh, you you have to wait for some time and then after some time you will see uh, that the app is uh, getting loaded in your teams channel now let me give it a try again let me go over here now there is an another option what you can do you can click on open copilot okay so if i click on open copilot and if i say i want to use the web app instead then again it will give you that same screen like what we saw right now this is an another way to add okay now add you can add it to a team add it to a chat we can add it to a meeting and here it will give you what permissions you require for this app to be uh, running successfully so if i click on add then again it will start adding this uh, copilot to teams now in this case we are successful uh, and now I can see that this uh, app is getting loaded and I can even chat with this particular uh, application. Now, you won't get a proper response because you have just published it. Just wait for like, a, like 30 minutes uh, or so and then you should be able to get a proper response back from the co-pilot because uh, it, it takes some time for the publishing information to be propagated across the channels, right? 
uh, so I've just put in hello I'll just click on chat over here and then here as you see over here it is showing as unknown user but then uh, after like 30 minutes or so here you will actually see the bot name now the bot name was cp06 girish solution right and then uh, once you refresh your screen you should be able to uh, view the bot uh, in a uh, with a full functionality right so that's it folks this is how you basically use uh, microsoft teams uh, to uh, publish your copilot uh, there are various settings which you can do from the copilot perspective as i showed you and if you are uh, if you do not want to publish it anymore then you can click on disconnect from teams now if you click on disconnect from teams it will give you a message it will tell you that when you disconnect your copilot it will not respond to anyone who has installed it if your admin listed the copilot in the built in organization section then you can ask them to remove it now, one more thing I wanted to show you that if you go into the teams and if you go into, say, any of the channels, say if you go into the general channel, if you click on add a tab here, if I just type in information, like if I type in whatever application name or copilot name, which I have added, I will be able to view those information over here as well. OK, now uh, you can it that there are multiple ways through which you can uh, add a copilot as i showed to you that if you navigate to the app and if you go to manage your apps and if you upload an app this method is called a side loading an app okay so the first time when we uh, uh, deployed it we used a side loading approach right now this side loading approach and the second approach which we uh, which I showed you is like just clicking on this open copilot link. Now, what it does, it will again open a copilot. Uh, and if the copilot is already uh, available, then it will redirect to that specific uh, interface, right? And from the screen itself, you can either open it or you can add it to a team or you can add it to a chat. And this screen will give you information about the app features. It will give you a short description and it will also give you developer information as well. So that's it folks. This is how you basically use uh, Copilot uh, in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching.